Welcome to all the days of the world, of the lives of all of our children. <laughs> Today's episode, Love Machine. Ring, ring. Bonsoir, café party. As this is Pierre. Yes, triple day 15. Yes, bien. I have written your name in the big book. A little to you. Show me, madame. My pleasure. Uh, excuse me. Uh-huh. Do you have a reservation? I do. For do you? Under Maypole. Maypole! Has your other party arrived, Monsoir? Yes, this is my other party. Monsoir, is your companion not a major household appliance? Why, yes. <laughs> she is a Maypole washing machine. <laughs> she is a washing machine. Perhaps you would like to sit at the bar. But one moment, Monsoir. Have I not seen you somewhere? Mais oui! La télévision! Are you not the maple repair person? I am the maple repairman. The one who weeps because he has nothing to do. Yes. Yes. Who goes... Because <laughs> the machine is too perfect. Yes. That is I. It's, it's so sad. It's so it's sad. Tissue, Monsoir. Thank you. <laughs> Like all things, it started a long, long time ago. Remember the good old days when Time TV was filled with nothing but smut and mind running garbage? I remember the last time I had a sick day, I was watching The Price is Right. It wasn't that bad. That's not what I'm talking about. Well, then I got two thirds of the questions right in Jeopardy. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. Then that's not what I'm talking about either. Oh, then there's big bucks, no whammies. No, no, no. I'm talking about terrible acting, terrible scripts, terrible people that have too much time on their hands in the afternoons. I'm talking about soap operas, the good old days. Join us in a memory of a dream of a spoof of every soap opera ever in <laughs> soap, soap Opera by David Ives. I was a naked crawling infant when I first glimpsed it, the great gleaming machine in my basement. At first I mistook it for a television. I tried to watch cartoons on it until I was five. Unsuccessfully, of course. <laughs> But by then, I was hooked. Young man, take off those filthy clothes immediately. How can you stand to stand there in those disgusting, dirty items of apparel? What is that? Pepsi? Coke? Play-Doh? Dipsy Doodles? Oh my... Don't do Oh my gosh! Burn those clothes! Oh, uh, Ma! I just put these on this morning! Fabric is like filth. Now strip until you're naked as a little ferret and get in that bathtub and scrum! The sinks of my Eau de Paul basement was my mother's maple, the old Ocean IT-40. It sat there like a mystical monolith, an ivory soap tower, one block of some tower of Babel. Or is it Babel? <laughs> anyway, in our house, the maypole was a god, week after week generating out of my miserable clay, a clean line of watching July's in over his head, white, filmy, angelic forms, even one cutout of an angel. The radiant angels who oversaw my childhood. I was a walking magnet for filth, and here was a machine to cleanse me. We were a perfect match. Hey, Manny. Hi, Mabel. And then there was Mabel. <laughs> Mabel was perfect, too, in a, a flawed human way. And she always had a spot of jelly on her blouse. But she was loving, and she was tender, and her name sounded like Maple. Maple, you got a spot on that. It's Jelly. You want to, like, go to a movie or something? You want to hop on the washer and take a spin? <laughs> Manny, how come we always got to make out on your mother's maple? <laughs> What's so wrong about that? Do we have to run a full load while we do it? The vibrations are kind of nice, but... But the Maple... I know. Flawless and flawless, and has none of our stupid human feelings and failings. The maypole is poetry, it's purity, it's a paragon, it's perfection. Cubed. Okay, <laughs> but what about me? Do you like me like you like the Ocean IT40? And aren't you like the love of my life? You are. Uh, gosh, Mabel. I'm I... sorry, Manny, but you're just gonna have to choose me or the machine. Earth? Or ocean. Oh, 
Revolution. <laughs> oh, no, no, Mabel, Mabel, come out. Uh, 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 like a handkerchief? No, excuse me? A handkerchief. It's immaculate, of course. We are Mabel. <laughs> I'm talking to an Ocean IT-40. This harrows me with wonder and fear. And your English is so good. It's what maples do. We do do perfectly. You must not think much of humans, then. We run hot and cold. <laughs> Do humans ever read the instruction manual? I do. The manual is my Emmanuel. And your name is? Manuel. Hey, we good look it. We know by nature how to run smoothly, noiselessly, and efficiently. My God, you're beautiful. Just beautiful? Exquisite. Sublime. Yes, we are. And we're a bit hungry. Would you feed us? What would you like? Don't you sometimes miss a little something in the wash? You eat socks? Socks are sustenance. Underwear is tastier. Does Fruit of the Loom count? Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> I was awash with confused feelings, but I sensed that this machine and I were locked in permanent press. If it was love, it was unclean. My mom died in a soap-like accident. She was buried on a day without blemish, a good send-off for someone who thought that people were not only dust, but dusty. <laughs> I inherited the maple, the pure, unapproachable goddess was mine. We were soulmates, but nobody understood. But who understood Romeo and Juliet, or Lewis and Clark, or, or... Calvin and Klein. <laughs> Soon, I was desperate. But so was Mabel. Can't you, like, love me, Manny? What about my password? The machine? We all have our dirty laundry. You have a spot on that. It's jelly. Oh. So are you gonna, like, marry me? Or do I gotta live in sadness forever and ever? I do. You do? I do. We repaired to the church and said we did, but the honeymoon soon ended. Is it really all over between you and that? Uh, yes, of course. Why do you ask? Do you think I didn't notice you were sleeping in the utility room? Do you think I don't see you polishing its knobs when I'm not looking? Do you think for one second that I don't know you're buying me rare quality and high cotton blends so that she can wash them? Huh? The house reeked of jealousy. The machine started making greater and greater demands. Imported Italian bleach, nuclear detergents, five French fabric softeners. Mabel bought none of it. She had it, and so we folded. <laughs> I went into a soak cycle, lapping up suds at cut rate laundromats just to watch the competition break down. Washers without automatic lint control. How pathetic, and yet, how vulnerable. <laughs> then came the final blow. We want a dryer. A dryer? Why? Don't get anxious. I'm not anxious. Don't be jealous. Why do you need a dryer when you have me? Washer, dryer, love and marriage, horse and carriage. A dryer. To give you a tumble, eh? For companionship! <laughs> That's not the truth. That's just a spin. We want a family, we want them to be maples. Is that so weird? Her inner timer had told her that she needed a dryer, and who was I to deny her? <laughs> what is it? What's wrong? I'm a maple. That's what's wrong. Handkerchief. It's kind of dirty. Then it's my duty to accept it. Oh, it's cruel having to be perfect all the time. I wash and I wash and I give and I give. It's a full load. Sure. And I'm good at it. Oh, yes, I'm very good at it. But sometimes I want so badly to be bad, to be one of those other makes. I don't have to name them. We know who they are. People take us maples for granted, as if we like pea stains and snot rags and bits full of baby vomit. I'm no saint. Well, I am a saint in a way. But you had to be what you are. It's true. I came off the assembly line of fate. But am I not an individual? Not really, I suppose. <laughs> I have a serial number. Is that individual? There's nothing to be done. Oh, but there is. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Break the machine and you can fix it. You mean? Yes. 
break me. I, I reached for the sledgehammer. It doesn't have to be much. Loosen a screw or two. Agitate my agitator. Take away the burden of my perfection. Break me. Make me suffer. Give me a belt, but give me an old belt. A bad belt. An imperfect belt. One that I'll wear out. Yes. Do it. Yes, please. Break me. Uh, I, I want to. No, I... Ah! <laughs> I can't. I just can't. Oh, please. If only I could break the one thing that's truly perfect for my own happiness. No, I couldn't live. Fine. You have your human feelings. Be that way. But then I saw it. I saw that the world is just a veil of pea stains and snot rags and bibs full of baby vomit. And that, amidst all the filth, was Mabel, a creature of such glorious imperfection. And I had lost her. That is why I wanted a table tonight to end this idiocy, to save to the machine. I gave you my all. <laughs> but the tide had turned. <laughs> so goodbye. And be of good cheer. <laughs> but you don't understand. Nobody, Nobody understands. <laughs>